I'm over in the clock section and I just found this clock. It's priced at $19.99. I've never seen this one before, but I think it would make a really great DIY. So I'm gonna grab this and do something fun with it. I'm not really sure what though. So I decided that I was going to paint this clock. So I taped off half of it because I only wanted to paint half of it. And then I'm gonna use Waverly white chalk paint and paint the side of it. Let that dry and then you're gonna add in a second coat of the Waverly white chalk paint. Next, I'm going to add in a stencil once everything's dry. This stencil I actually picked up from Walmart and I'm gonna be using the black ink color by Waverly. And I'm just going to lightly press that stencil in. Now, once my stencil had a chance to dry, I noticed that I kind of messed up a little bit and there were some areas over the side. So I added some more white and then I added some white over the top of my stencil so it blended in more and it wasn't so perfect. And here's a look at how the clock turned out. So I'm up by the checkout and I just saw this adorable swivel chair, originally 59 and they're only wanting 39 for it. I don't like the red, but we could totally DIY this and it would be perfect for my office. I think I'm gonna grab it because I have a stool now, but it's not high enough and I need a stool that I can sit at my like crafting table with. So I'm gonna grab this. So Moose and I started by unboxing the stool, taking everything out. I wanted to get all the red pieces assembled so that I could start by painting it. So I kind of got the pieces figured out before I could go paint them. Now to paint this, I'm just going to be using an ultra matte Rust-Oleum black color. And I just did maybe one or two coats and then I flipped the pieces over and added in additional coats, making sure I didn't have any red showing up. Back in my studio, I assembled everything. I'm gonna link below to my drill. I've had a lot of questions about it, but I'm just gonna put all the pieces together based off of the Ikea directions. I have to tell you, this was fairly simple to put together. Now I did have to go back in and do a little bit of touch up paint, but I just used my black ink Waverly paint. And here's a look at how it turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.